welcome back. So what we're gonna do today is use these pre-drilled glass snow globes. And I tell you what, I am obsessed. You can get these at Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. She has limited supply, but then she does also do like pre-sales for these. So it is something you definitely want to keep an eye out for. And um, you can use Paxton 10 to get 10% off of these. And they are awesome. After I got done with these, I tell you what, I was like, I want to do like I want my whole cabinet full of snow globe um, these glass these drilled glass snow globe with the, a bamboo lid it is so awesome so as you can see there all I did was there's no prepping there's no drilling no nothing all I did was put a little tape around the edge around the bottom there just to keep the glitter from spilling off onto um, you know the table or whatever I did put a couple of uh, wax pieces of paper down there just to kind of keep the mess uh, for whatever kind of mess might happen. And I did not end up putting um, like, I don't know, three scoopfuls, I guess is what you saw there. And then I went in with my glycerin and uh, distilled water mix. And it's just a 50-50 mix. You can get the glycerin, you can get vegetable glycerin off of Amazon and you can get distil distilled water at the grocery store. Um, it's super easy, super cheap. You can get it in a big gallons and you can you know, make many, many snow globes with these. So I did end up, um, you know, using a brush there just to kind of brush some of that glitter back into that hole. And um, I tell you what, it, it's just with this glass, I'm telling you, it is like so beautiful but anyway so i did end up putting um a little bit m uh, more of the glitter there and then just did a little bit more of the glycerin and everything but one thing that you want to do is what i have learned from doing some of these is you are going to fill this in but then you're also going to let it kind of breathe and kind of you know air out a little bit because you're going to want to go back in and really fill in all those holes uh, that are at the bottom there and make sure that you have a full capacity of you know that that liquid mixture glitter and and everything before you close this up so this one i decided to use bandit and then i used the neon there's a there's like a set of neons that she sells on her website on sugar uh sugar and spice glitter co and i i'm obsessed with these neons i've already done two cups with them and um i'm just i just love them and i think for halloween for any other time of the year for any anybody that just loves you know neons or rainbow that type thing this whole set is awesome but i ended up putting um the green and the orange and the purple the bandit there and i just got these in so i have not put them in a jar yet so they were still in their little bags but it made it it made it pretty easy just to kind of um, pour those in and i did end up putting a little bit of liquid to put the glitter both glitters and then i put liquid and then i went back in with some more uh, glitter there and um, you can just kind of gauge like if you if you want it to be really full you can make it really full if you if you wanted to just kind of have some glitters floating around in there then you can just do that so again I took a paintbrush or brush whatever I had that was clean at the time and I just kind of pushed as much of that glitter in there as possible you're going to really want to shake these up because you're going to have kind of you know especially if you mix them up with different colors of glitter you're going to have the purple and the green and the orange at different spots and so you're really going to want to make sure that you kind of get it all I, I once I looked at this when I flipped it over it I didn't really see a lot of that purple and I really wanted that purple to be in there and so uh, but you can add liquid and glitter the only the only thing that it does is separate like some glitter goes floats to the, the top and some float to the bottom that's the only thing that i can tell that's different but i don't really know if that really matters i mean if that matters to you then i would make sure you put all of the glitter in and then all the liquid but either way you know these are just kind of you know however you want them to look and feel that kind of thing I did a couple of times take my finger and just kind of make sure that I was shaking this up and really kind of getting a feel for the flow of the glitter and everything. Now, these are available at the Happy Fox Supply Co. And 
I have a lot of these because I use them all the time, especially for stuff like this, because there's little needle nose, like, I mean, this, it's almost like a needle basically. And it just has a little hole in there and it, you just can put as much liquid as you need in kind of these little crevices where pockets of glitter or pockets of air or liquid or whatever are, you can kind of force that liquid into there. And I, I would say these are vital to really finishing these off because as I was doing them without this, I was like, okay, let me get one of these out and really see if I can get them, you know, to uh, really fill in. And once I was able to move things around and kind of let air release on one side, then the other, I was able to really fill up, really get a full, you know, a full jar, I guess, if you will, full, you know, cup, glass full or whatever. And um, that really helped, I think, really complete the look because you do have the lip at the top is kind of closed off. So you don't want any kind of air pockets showing at that very top. And you'll see, you know, kind of at the end whenever we're epoxying these and everything. So anyways, I would definitely suggest these little things and you can use them for like rhinestoning and glue and all kinds of things so I just have a bunch just kind of sitting around for whenever I need them so with that glycerin you definitely want to make sure that you are really cleaning these up and getting as much of that kind of oily substance that they have that it has off of there before you start to try to seal these up. I used alcohol and really got them as clean as I possibly could. I mean, you can't stick them under, you know, water or anything. So you really kind of have to make sure, and you can see all the paper towels that I used to really make sure I didn't feel any of that, you know, greasiness from that glycerin. So these dots I got off of Amazon and they are, Gorilla Glue, you know, just adhesive dots that are permanent or whatever. I wouldn't say that they didn't work. I wouldn't say that they're my favorite thing either. Um, they did work and they do come with a lot of them. But I will have to say that um, I, I kind of had to put multiple ones on top of each one and kind of spaced them out around it to kind of seal it in and it kind of made a little bit of like a bump on the bottom and so that would be my only downfall in this sense I wish that I would have maybe just got some like basic tape or something that was Gorilla Glue and done it that way and that way I could have like a more flat surface so one thing about this was that I just and maybe they would have worked on acrylic better I don't know but I wasn't as I wasn't too keen on them being on these glass but I have a bunch of them now so I'm not sure what to do with them but I will be getting some of that Gorilla Glue tape that's just like packing tape or whatever and just using that for the for the future and for the sake of kind of covering up that mess of those stickers that were all kind of jumbled around you know those little adhesive dots or whatever so I went ahead and just put my logo on the bottom I wouldn't normally probably put my logo on this but I just was like I'm just going to kind of cover these up just to kind of I guess finish off the bottom a little bit better and all I did here was do um, a UV uh, UV resin and I put that on there and then I just put these outside and let them cure I tell you the sun is really if there's sun you just put this this stuff this resin rockers UV resin put it out in the sun and it is it's just there's no comparison to any light um, even though even though my light was kind of kind of sucks but uh, it, they just really cure really hard and 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 awesome whenever you're there out in the sun so anyways so I went on creative fabrica and I found this like collage of all these different um, Halloween sayings you know like witch sayings and Halloween and ghosts and different things and um I found this one that said October 31st and I really liked it because it just I mean it was it, I don't know I just thought it was different and I just thought on this jar this glass jar type style that it would look better or it would just I don't know I just for some reason it just spoke to me so I decided to do this I decided to get this green um I have this green iridescent holographic whatever you want to call it um, vinyl and I used that because of the 
glitters that have, you know, that they were kind of iridescent. They were kind of holographic. And um, I wanted to kind of have that same flow. But I did use the black vinyl as a as an offset on the back side. And then I cut out some bats. And I cut out some white ghosts. And I applied those all over this um, whole tumbler just to give it that really nice Halloween feel that um, I thought really went well with the glitters and, you know, the style and just everything. I was, I was very happy with this. So after I put all those on, I just went over um, the bottom again and put some more resin on there because like I said, it was kind of bumpy on that one side where I put those adhesive dots on there. So I went in with another coat just to kind of even it out as best I could. I knew I was going to be putting epoxy on these to seal in all of the vinyl, but I wanted to, to um, just kind of get that bottom piece as smooth as possible before we go into all the epoxy. I just didn't want to have to sand a bunch afterwards and all of that. So after I put that outside, I started in on the pink one and I did, like I said, I cleaned this up really nicely, made sure that we didn't have any of that glycerin, cleaned it with alcohol, really got it ready for these decals and vinyl work that we were going to put on here. Now this I got from Create by Firefly when I was at TumblrCon and I really loved the the color of it and I just I, I didn't know what I was going to do with it but I loved it and I wanted to I wanted to have it and so but when I saw this I was kind of going through my I thought maybe do something with mama on there or and then I saw this one and I thought oh I just love the colors and I think it would be really cool to put it on something like this and then I thought you know what I always keep my extra leopard <laughs> print you know whenever I cut them out if I don't use very many or if it's just for like you know a specific place on the cup or something and I and I cut too many or whatever the reason is I have extra I was like oh I'll just I just keep them in my little drawer and I just pull them out and I thought these are perfect because there were different styles of leopard print but I just kind of went back and forth and was like I'll put this style and then I'll put that style and then I'll put this style and then I'll put that style so that we were getting um you know and even amount of both so that there wasn't like obvious like one side was this style and the other side was that style but I would encourage you to definitely keep these because you can always add a little bit of leopard print somewhere and it we will always you know give your cup you know, or tumbler or whatever you're doing, you know, some kind of something, just a little something extra. And I really, I liked that there was this colorful leopard print in the design. And then I just went in with just a plain black leopard print and covered the whole cup with that. So after that, I went in with my first coat of epoxy. Now this was just basically to seal everything in. I did a coat on this one and the pink one as well and you can tell that there's like this lip right this this lip at the very top and all i did was just kind of push the epoxy up to that lip and i did cover the bottom with it as well but that way i wasn't getting it you can see here i'm just kind of pushing it up and just pushing it over that little lip that's right there i didn't want to get it onto the 
you know, that thinner part that's on the very top. And so I just made sure that I was just, this is obviously sped up. So I was not doing it this fast, but I was just kind of slowly dragging my finger up there and doing that. And, um, I did have to use like foam, like these squishy foam things to put inside of there, uh, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to force one of my things in there. Cause I just, I felt kind of nervous about it, you know, being pressure and that kind of thing on there so I just used just a black foam one that I have um, but see I did it here too I just kind of made sure that I was getting right over that lip and um, and if you do get some epoxy on that thinner part at the top all you do is just take a little baby wipe and clean that off and um, everything will be fine so after that um, I did have a little bit of you know just little spiky bits from those leopard prints that you know, they just have kind of the, some of them had that like fur look to them. And so they kind of had spiky, you know, sides. So they, some of them kind of rose up. And so I would just went around and, um, just kind of sanded them down a little bit. And then I just sanded it down, uh, just to make it as smooth as possible. Cause I didn't want to add a bunch of epoxy on this because it's already heavy enough with it being glass being, um, you know, with the liquid in there and everything. But um, also wanted to make sure that you notice that I, I really kind of took my time at the very top and where that thin piece is, where we kind of put the, the epoxy right over that little lip, but then let that left that thin piece. You want to make sure that you're not sanding that piece because you're not doing anything with that. It needs to stay nice, clean, and pretty. So just be, just take your time. Like I said, I always speed these up, but this is, me taking my time and really trying to be as careful as possible around that lip just to make sure that we're getting it smooth but we're not touching the top so with this particular one i ended up going in with two more coats of epoxy because of that bottom was just really bubbly um, with those adhesive dots and i really tried to get it as as smooth as possible but i ended up having to do some more sanding on the second um on after this after this coat and then i went in with a final coat after that but it is perfectly fine for you to put epoxy on these i, I would definitely suggest doing that if you were putting vinyl work on here if you're not doing anything like that then they do not need any epoxy but you definitely want to seal this in and make sure that you don't have any lifting or that you know this stuff isn't going to just peel off or get peeled off by someone you know or if they put it in the dishwasher it could have that effect as well so um you know once you put epoxy on there then they can't put it in the dishwasher they do have to do it hand wash everything's going to be sealed in and, and fine so this one i was able to just go in no problem with this last coat of epoxy once i did all the sanding and got all of those little sharp bits you know kind of filed down and everything the bottom was not as uh, bubbled or bulging out as the other one was and so um, i was able to make sure that it was fine and um, when then we were done after this this next coat of epoxy here so uh, that was all i needed to do for this one and that's all really you need to do for these glass tumblers you know they, they have to be careful with them anyway because they're glass but um just try to seal that vinyl in that vinyl work or whatever you're doing on there and then um and that's pretty much all you need it's not like a tumbler where we're trying to seal this and seal this and file this and do, you know it's just it's just a little bit different and here we go these are it um i am obsessed with these i tell you what I want to have, like I said, a whole collection of these. I just want to make a bunch of them and keep them in my cabinet because I just love the feel of the glass and I don't know, just the, the, the flow of the glitter. I don't know if it's just a girl thing. I don't know, but it is very satisfying. I love the bamboo top. You could definitely do something with the bamboo top, but I was trying to get these out as quickly as possible. I was, I really want, I really had idea you know of grandeur here with this uh, with the with the lid but i went ahead and just focused on the tumbler just to make sure that y'all knew you could get these out 
These would be great for Christmas. You can put polymer clay little things in there. She has those available also at the Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. Um, anyways, I would encourage you to go and take a look and see what you can find there, especially these pre-drilled, pre-drilled. I mean, you can't beat it. Anyways, please like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what you find um, and let me know what you do if you see you know, tag me or whatever. Anyways, ring that bell. I'll see you next time.